Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is uh, the for our first unit in science, which is talking about levers. And uh, we have another unit which is talking about uh, electricity. But this unit is talking about levers. This is lesson number one, uh, levers. What's meant by levers? Or uh, we have levers around us? Yes. Lever is simply, it's a very simple machine. We use it in our daily life. But we didn't know if it is lever or not. Like what? Like these shapes. These shapes, we know that we have these pliers, scissors, maybe this is like nutcracker, and sweat holder, and tweezers. They are very different tools or machine. We use it in for different purpose, but all of them have the same name, or a common name of this is levers. This type is a levers. So let's talk about at first the definition of levers. Lever simply, it is a rigid bar. It is a rigid bar. And rotate around fixed point has a point that, fix, that rotate around. This point is called fulcrum and is affected by two forces, resistance force and effort force. Like what? This is a, a very simple figure for levers. This is fulcrum and it's simple O. This is effort force, symbol with F, and resistance force, symbol with R. And this is the rigid bar. So let's try it, let's repeat it again. The definition of levers, it is a rigid bar, rotate around fixed point called fulcrum, and affected by two forces. Force number one is effort force, and force number two is resistance force. So what's meant by effort force and resistance force? Okay, this is the definition of effort force and resistance force. What's meant by effort force? It is the force exerted by a person. So the person here try to make a force. For what? To equip to equilibrate the resistance force. So what's meant by resistance force? This is the resulted force from the body that want to move it. Okay, this is the definition. What I don't understand. Let's make it more obvious. Yes, let's make it here. It's back. This is resistance force. Let's imagine there are a person stand up here, like the seesaw that we are playing with it. And this person make effort or make, make resistance force, make a weight, have a weight. This weight, we try to balance, make a balance with it or, or uh, make equilibrium by exerted effort force. So we have another person here try to make a balance with, a, with what? With this person or with this weight. So this is simply what's meant by levers. So levers, it is what? It is a rigid bar, so it's a bar that we can rotate it, around fixed point, which is fulcrum, affected by two forces, resistance force and effort force. Okay, so what are the importance of these levers? Levers has many importance, have many importance, sorry. Number one, importance number one, increasing the force. So. The first and the most important point in the importance of levers is increasing the force. So by doing a very small force, we can get a huge force in and at the result. So number one, increasing force. Number two, increasing the distance by moving substance from place to another place. So increase the distance by something, like manual prune. When by using manual prune, we make what? To clean something, we use to make it uh, move from place to another place. Number three, increasing speed. Increasing the speed like what? Like hockey pad. We know that there are play calling ho called hockey pad. We um, have a ball, and by this ball, we move what? We move by a rigid bar, by a bar, we move this Ball. So we need to get, uh, we need the ball to get inside the goal. So we make it very fast in moving.
Number four, moving the force from place to another place, like Manuel Brewer, and we talk about it another time later. Number five, avoiding dangers. How we can avoid dangers or keep away from dangers? Like what? Like coal. Coal holder, like this. This is coal holder. This is used in what? This is used in uh, picking up or catching the coals. This coal is very hot and uh, we can um, get hurt by using this uh, coal. So we use this coal holder to avoid dangers. Like another one is ice holder. It have the same shape. It's used to pick up our, or uh, catch the ice for not hurt our fingers. So number five importance, it is coal holder. Okay. Number six, accuracy in performance. What's meant by accuracy in performance? To be more accurate, to be specified, to pick up a very small object. Like what? When we have a very small object, we can't catch it by our hand. We use this. What is the name of this? This is tweezers. These tweezers have a very small end used to pick up a very small subject. When I have spine in my hand, I use tweezers to pick up this spine from my fingers. So we can get it away and give us. So we can't use it by anything like what's like cold holder. So we can get it to catch the spine from my hand. But what we use, we use these tweezers. So what's the name of this tool? This is tweezers. And it is a kind of or example of what of levers. Let's uh, repeat it again. What is the importance of levers? Levers is number one, increasing the force, increasing the distance, increasing the speed. So we have three increasing. Increasing force, increasing distance, and increasing the speed. And moving the force from one place to another. Five or six is very important and very simple. Like avoiding dangers and accuracy in performance. Okay. So now we get the definition of levers and the importance of levers. Now we have to talk about the types of levers. We have different types. So we classify the tools according to what? According to the arrangement of fulcrum and resistance force and effort force According to, according to this arrangement, we can classify it into three classes. We call it first class, and second class, and third class. We find that in the first class, we have the fulcrum between what? Between effort force and resistance force. So we can define it as a following. It is a type of lever that the fulcrum, where, well, where the fulcrum lies between what? Between effort force and resistance force. And we say that the effort force, it's symbol F, and resistance force, it's symbol R. Like what? Like sensors and seesaw. This is a very simple diagram. But when we're talking about this, this is what? This is an example for first class levers. So where is the resistance force, where is the effort force, where is the fulcrum? We find here a fixed point that doesn't rotate by rotation, the, uh, the, the scissors. What is the fixed point? It is. So here we have the fulcrum. So where is the exerted force, where is the force here? So this is the effort force, we, we push here. So it is the effort force. And the paper, 